Hello, happy believers. The birth of Jesus is a divine and also a very human event for Mary and Joseph. As I read through this chapter, I will reflect on each sentence, trying to bridge the gap between the spiritual and the human aspects of the events as they unfolded. If you enjoy the content, please like, subscribe and share. In Matthew chapter 1, 18 to 25, it starts off telling us, This was how the birth of Jesus Christ took place. His mother Mary was engaged to Joseph. But before they were married, she found out that she was going to have a baby by the Holy Spirit. Reflection Jesus' mother Mary was engaged to Joseph and the angel Gabriel, who appeared to Mary, said, Don't be afraid, Mary. God has been gracious to you. You will become pregnant and give birth to a son and you will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High God. Luke 1, 30-32 Mary was only engaged to Joseph at that time and was yet to become his wife. At that time, the punishment for unmarried mothers was to be stoned, adultery. The spiritual revelation and the reality of being pregnant and not married must have caused Mary to ponder on everything. How would she tell Joseph? As Mary knew Joseph was not the father of her child, Angel Gabriel had appeared to Mary and said she was carrying in her womb the Son of God. Who would believe Mary? It is great that we can read the Bible and have it explained to us and we can believe it. Back then, it was a unique happening, and as their reality unfolded, they did not have a textbook to read, but had to live the reality of it, moment by moment. No wonder the angel Gabriel said to Mary, Do not be afraid. Luke chapter 1, verses 26 to 31. Next, Joseph was a man who always did what was right. He did not want Mary to be disgraced publicly. So he made plans to break the engagement privately. Reflection. Joseph obviously was confused and thought Mary had betrayed him. Even though Mary explained to Joseph what had happened, he found it difficult to believe Mary. And really, who would have in his situation? Joseph must have struggled on how to deal with this situation and trying to find the right solution for the both of them. How could he rear a baby that was not his? He loved Mary and knew how serious the predicament she was in. And instead of of disgracing Mary, he chooses to break off the engagement in private so it would not draw attention to Mary's pregnancy. It must have broke his heart. It continues, while he was thinking about this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, descendant of David, do not be afraid to take Mary to be your wife. For it is by the Holy Spirit that she has conceived. She will have a son and you will name him Jesus because he will save his people from their sins. Reflection. Joseph was fearful as the angel said, do not be afraid, and continues to tell Joseph what to do. Joseph must have found a great comfort in the angel's words because they confirmed to him what Mary had already told him. It was extraordinary but true. For it is by the Holy Spirit that she has conceived. She will have a son and You will name him Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. The angel explains how Mary conceived, foretelling Joseph that Mary will have a son, and even told Joseph what name to call him, Jesus. Also saying, Jesus is going to be the saviour of the world, as he will save people from their sins. Next. Now, 
All this happened in order to make come true what the Lord had said through the prophet. A virgin will become pregnant and have a son, and he will be called Emmanuel, which means God is with us. Reflection All this was prophesied away back in the Old Testament, in the book of Isaiah, chapter 7, verse 14, by the prophet Isaiah. Mary and Joseph would have been well versed in the scriptures and would have grown up with the history of wonderful happenings. Re, Genesis, Moses, Abraham and Sarah, the prophets, the Psalms, Job, Isaiah, etc. They would also be familiar with angels appearing and speaking on behalf of God in dreams in the Old Testament. They would have read about wonderful happenings of God's miracles but they would never have thought that they would have been favoured or chosen by God to fulfil his purpose. When Joseph woke up, he married Mary, and as the angel of the Lord had told him to. But he had no sexual relations with Mary before she gave birth to her son, and Joseph named him Jesus. Reflection This dream took away all Joseph's confusion and when he woke up he had great clarity and knew he was to marry Mary. He also knew not to have any sexual relations with her until Jesus was born. Joseph called him Jesus as the angel had told him to. Joseph and Mary did not have any children of their own and as Joseph was not the father of Jesus He would be Jesus' stepfather. This is a wonderful description about the birth of Jesus. There are so many stories within the main story, and a few more here were not mentioned. Example, Zechariah and Elizabeth in Luke chapter 1, 5 to 25, the birth of John the Baptist. I just noticed something of interest here in Luke 1, 25. Elizabeth says, The Lord has done this for me. In these days, he has shown me favour and taken away my disgrace among the people. Elizabeth said, The Lord has shown me favour and taken away my disgrace among the people. As from Joseph's perspective, Mary was highly favoured, but it looked as if she was going to be disgraced among the people until the angel intervened and told him otherwise. This is just an example of how the Bible is so interesting and how one can spend a lot of time reading it as one interesting aspect leads to another. Jesus' name means God is with us. When we are in difficult situations or we don't know what direction to go in or We don't understand how something will turn out. We need to remember that God is with us. The two most important words, which are the first two words of the creed, I believe. Then we can trust God with the outcome, no matter what it is, just like Mary and Joseph did. And they did not always have it easy. I will finish off with Mary's Magnificat, Mary's Song of Praise, in response to Elizabeth's foreknowledge of Mary's pregnancy, taken from Luke chapter 1, 46 to 56, Mary's Song of Praise. Mary said, My heart praises the Lord. My soul is glad because of God my Saviour, for he has remembered me his lowly servant. From now on, all people will call me happy because of the great things the mighty God has done for me. His name is holy. From one generation to another, he shows his mercy to those who honour him. He has stretched out his mighty arm and scattered the proud with all their plans. He has brought down mighty kings from their thrones and lifted up the lowly. 
He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away with empty hands. He has kept the promise he has made to our ancestors. He has come to the help of his servant Israel. He has remembered to show mercy to Abraham and to all his descendants forever. If you enjoyed the content, please like, subscribe and share. Next painting, very, very soon. Watch this space. Until then, remember, Jesus is there in the middle of every crisis. Trust him.